mini vlogmas for the month of December but I'm still gonna do my story time um, don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel um, hope my channel is positive hope it will be a blessing to somebody in whatever way possible all right so tonight my story will be the story of baby Jesus um, we're in the Christmas season the Christmas spirit and so I'm gonna go ahead and tell that story here it goes hope you enjoy and again uh, my topic is the story of baby Jesus here it goes. a long time ago in the town of Nazareth lived a young woman named Mary Mary did her chores was kind to others and loved God very much she was engaged to be married to Joseph who was a carpenter one day while Mary was at home cleaning her room, an angel suddenly appeared. Before Mary could say anything, the angel told Mary that she was favored by God and that God was with her. Mary was surprised. She was trying not to be afraid, but she had never seen an angel before. After all, Mary was just a regular lady like you and I. Why was this angel visiting her? what did the angel want the angel quickly tried to reassure Mary do not be afraid the angel said God has found favor with you you will have a baby boy and are to give him the name Jesus Mary was confused she was not yet married to Joseph so how could she have a baby the angel thought that this might concern Mary, so he said, The Holy Spirit will perform a miracle, and because of this, your baby will be called the Son of God. To Mary's surprise, the angel was more ex has more exciting news. Even her cousin Elizabeth is going to have a son at her old age. Mary thought that she couldn't have children but she is already pregnant nothing is impossible with god mary couldn't believe that she was what she was hearing she didn't know what to say she realized that she was trembling and knelt down when she was finally able to speak she said i am the lord's servant and i hope everything you have said will come true then the angel disappeared, and Mary was left alone. Soon after, Joseph found out that Mary was going to have a baby. Joseph was confused and upset by this. But the angel came to him in a dream and said, Joseph, do not be afraid to take Mary as your wife. The child Mary is going to have is the son of God. And you are to give him the name Jesus. When Joseph woke up, he remembered what the angel had said. He knew that everything was okay. And he wasn't upset anymore. In those days, the government decided that they should count everyone that lived in the area of that world. So Joseph had to take Mary to his town of Bethlehem to register. It took Mary and Joseph a long time to get to Bethlehem. They didn't have a car back then, so it, was pro it probably took them a lot longer to get there. This was very tiring for Mary because she was soon going to have a baby. When they reached the, the town, all the hotels were full and there was nowhere that they could stay. Finally, Someone felt bad for them and offered them a place to stay. The Bible didn't say for sure where they stayed, but most people think that they stayed in a small barn with animals. In any case, doesn't it seem strange that Jesus, the, the king of the Jews, wasn't born in a fancy place or even in a hospital? Mary and Joseph were thankful that they were at least had a place to lay down. It was warm, and there was plenty of straw to lay on. 
That night, an exciting, wonderful thing happened. Mary and Joseph had a baby. But it wasn't just any baby. He was baby Jesus. The creator of the whole world, the kings of kings, and the one who would save the world. The little baby boy fell asleep in Mary's arms. She wrapped him in, clothes, in cloth and laid him in a manger on some clean straw. Mary and Joseph soon fell asleep. They were so glad to have this special baby join their family. Wasn't that a wonderful story, guys? Um, I know a lot of people think that these stories are, are, are um, mostly for kids. But um, these stories kind of remind you the meaning of Christmas. Um, people dwell on when he was born and when he whatever, but um, for me, I tend to more reflect on Christ in Christmas season. Um, he was born um, for you and I. Um, like the story said, he is kings of kings. He is lords of lords. He is the great I am that I am. He is the one and only. And um, so I'm just glad that he was born. I'm just glad that um, salvation was now um, introduced to human or to people. Um, so yes, don't forget the meaning of Christmas. Don't forget the true value. Um, while we celebrate Christmas, I know um, it, it has a lot to do with um, getting gifts and hanging with family and all that stuff. Like, um, I know because the wise men bring frankincense and myrrh and all those things. And um, so, yeah, um, Christmas time is for that. But for, don't ever forget um, that Jesus came for you and I. Um, the same way he came, it was the same way he died for you and I, so we could have life and have it more abundantly. All right, I really do hope you guys enjoyed my story. Um, don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel. Um, have a blessed day, night, whenever you watch this. God bless you. Bye bye.